Our veteran today is being sponsored by Representative Josh West. Representative West, you're recognized to introduce the Veteran of the Week. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, members, it's my honor and my privilege to have uh, United States Army retired Master Sergeant John Ryburn here with me today. Uh, he's uh, from my District 5 in my hometown of Grove. Uh, you know, four or five days a week, I'm with uh, my sweet mate, Representative McDougal. And uh, I appreciate all the Marine Corps pictures that cover our walls and, and the pictures of, uh, pictures of his face on the books and posters, but it's great to have a fellow uh, dog-faced soldier with me today. So, uh, uh, Master Sergeant Robin, he served the United States Army from June 1953 to June 1973. Uh, he was assigned, uh, his assignments included, included service in Korea, 1954-1955 with the 7th Infantry Division, in Japan from 1956 to 1959, Germany 1962 to 65 with the Third Armored Division, and Vietnam in 1969 with the Ninth Infantry Division. Uh, his numerous service awards include the Bronze Star, uh, the Army Accommodation Medal with Vive Device for Valor, and a Meritorious Service Medal. After retiring from the United States Army in 1973, uh, Master Sergeant Ryman went to work for Thermco Products Corporation. He worked his way to Vice President. In 1987, uh, Master Sergeant Ryman Ryburn uh, started a successful consulting business until he retired in 1998. Uh, since retiring, he has dedicated his time in helping and advocating for veterans and their families across the state while serving with, a, with multiple veterans organizations, including the VFW Post 8380 in Grove, Oklahoma. The first paragraph of the Creed of Non-Commissioned Officers says, no one is more professional than I. I'm a non-commissioned officer, a leader of soldiers. As a non-commissioned officer, I realize that I'm a member of a time-honored corps, which is known as the backbone of the Army. The bottom line is the, the corps of non-commissioned officers breeds leaders, and a Master Sergeant Reimer's life is a testament of that. Uh, Master Sergeant Reimer, I just want to personally say thank you. Uh, we've got many veterans here in the Oklahoma House of Representatives, and we thank you for your selfless service and, and paving the way for our generation to serve. Uh, you know, it wasn't very long ago when uh, Vietnam veterans didn't receive the homecoming that the military members do today. And at times, I know you felt like your country didn't appreciate you, but I want to tell you that I love you, brother, and I'm proud to call you my friend, brother, and my comrade. Uh, Mr. Speaker, can you have the clerk read the citation? Clerk will read. Whereas Master Sergeant John P. Ryburn is a resident of House District 5 in Grove, Oklahoma, and whereas Master Sergeant John P. Ryburn served in the United States Army from June 1953 to June 1973 with combat deployments to Korea and Vietnam. And whereas Master Sergeant John P. Ryburn received numerous service awards and decorations to include the Bronze Star, Army Commendation Medal with V device for Valor and Meritorious Service Medal and whereas the citizens of the state of Oklahoma hold our veterans who protect all Americans from enemies, both foreign and domestic, in the highest esteem and appreciate the sacrifice and contributions they have made to preserve the freedoms and way of life we hold so dear. And whereas the Oklahoma House of Representatives 56th Legislature takes great pride in honoring Master Sergeant John P. Ryburn, Veteran of the Week, now, therefore, pursuant to the motion of Representative Josh West, the Oklahoma House of Representatives extends to Master Sergeant John P. Ryburn sincere commendations and directs that this citation be presented. Members and guests in the gallery, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Bridge, all rise, take your hands over your heart, face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> 